What it do everybody, it's your boy Roblox Scripts here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Fluxus with an Android emulator on your PC. So let's not waste any more time, let's get straight into this. The date is the 15th of May 2024, so if you're watching this in the future, you know, this may not exist anymore, this may be discontinued, so make sure to join my Discord server and check or leave a comment asking me if it still works. So firstly, you wanna head over to the link in the description below, robloxscripts.com. This is the site that has everything, guys. It has scripts, it has news, it has guides, it has everything you need. So you may notice there's an executors and exploits section right here. Click on where it says Fluxus, free executor. But if it doesn't appear there for any reason, then just search for Fluxus and click on where it says free executor. So once you've loaded up the page, you should notice that it says created by Showerhead. Now I actually don't know if this is the official version of Fluxus, Fluxus hasn't been updated for a while and I found this in a Discord server a few days ago, I decided to test it out and it works. So if, if it's not official Fluxus, you know, it still works at the end of the day, don't use this on a main account guys, use alt accounts only, don't use any accounts with premium, any accounts with anything important on them, use fresh alt accounts. RobloxAltGen.com will be launching again soon, so stay tuned for that one. So now you want to click on download latest version here. Your antivirus may block this, so remember to disable safe mode in Chrome to do this. Just head over to your Chrome settings and then find where it says security, so privacy and security, and you should be able to find safe mode right here. So it should say safe browsing, go to safety check, click on safe browsing and make sure that no protection is selected. Otherwise, when you download Fluxus, it will be automatically deleted. So disable safe browsing and let's continue with the video. So we've downloaded Fluxus. Now we can drag this onto our desktop. And now the next thing we need is an Android emulator. So we're going to head over to Google and we're going to type into the search bar LD Player. Now LD Player is my choice of emulator. You can use Bluestacks, you can use Moomoo, Moo, you can use whatever you want to use. But for this video, I'm going to be using LD Player and I found LD Player to be the best emulator for me. So we're going to click on download LD Player. Click the download button, wait for it to download. Now literally drag this to your desktop. This is very simple. And what I like about LD Player better than Bluestacks is you don't actually need an Android account to use this, which is pretty cool. So download it, set up which path you want to install it in, download. Okay, so once it's finished installing, just click start, wait for it to load. Now it may ask you to configure some settings depending on what kind of motherboard you have and depending on if you, if you have hypervisor installed or not, it, will, it may pop up with some messages. Just click yes and it should automatically fix these errors for you and it will ask you to restart your PC. I've obviously already done this, so it's not gonna ask me this time. Well, it shouldn't do anyway. All right, so LD player is loaded up. It should look like this. Now, one thing you can do quickly before you begin is go to your settings. And if you do have enough RAM and you have a good enough CPU, I highly suggest that you increase this. So I've got 64 gigs of RAM in my laptop. So I'm gonna increase it to eight gigs of RAM. And the CPU I'm using is only 12 cores. So I'm probably gonna go with six cores. So we're gonna go with six cores and eight gigs and we're gonna click save and now it's gonna to ask to restart. So I'm just gonna restart that real quick. So depending on your PC specs, you know, reconfigure your LD player settings. If you have a powerful PC, you will be able to max it out. If you have a terrible PC, then you'll probably need to turn it down. So now you literally just get the Fluxus file we just downloaded and drag it straight into LD player and it will install Roblox. So it's literally as simple as that people. Now, like I said, use an alt account, don't use a main account. So we're gonna wait for this to install. It says it's installed. Let's wait for the icon to load. There we go. Now we click on Roblox, it should load and it will ask us to sign in. So I'm gonna do that real quick. We'll speed up the footage. Okay, so we've signed into Roblox and now what better game to try this out on than Blocks Fruits. Blocks Fruits is one of the most popular games for auto farming accounts on and selling items. So we're just gonna launch straight into the game and you will see that Fluxus will be able to work now. So let's full screen this. Okay, so we've loaded into the game 
and you can see on the left hand corner of the screen Fluxus will load and it will ask you to get a key. So yes there is a key system, some of you will probably be able to bypass this, I'm just going to do it anyway because it's Linkbatize and I've got Linkbatize Premium so it should be really easy for me to do. So let's check this out, let's head over to here and we should wait for the redirect. So like I said guys, I don't know if this is the actual official Fluxus. Like I said, it does link to the official Fluxus Discord server, but I don't know if that's just there, you know, to make it look legit or what, but this works and it works well. So, and it appears to be the actual Fluxus Linkbatize account. All right, so we've completed the Linkbatize. We've got one more left. I've got Linkbatize Premium, so we can just go straight through these. And there we go. So we've got a key to use. We're gonna put this key in here right now. All right, so the executor has loaded. Here we go, we're whitelisted. So if we head into settings, you can see we've got fast animations, no animations, FPS unlocker, which you probably don't wanna use on Android to be fair. Android is pretty terrible performance, guys. Now cloud, I have no idea what cloud does. We've got console here, and we've got the actual executor right here. So we're gonna try this out with a little blocks fruit script right now. So I've got this saved on notepad. This is a load string script that does not execute on Solara or Celery. So let's see if it works on this. So we're gonna click execute. Oh, it appears to be working. But there we go, guys. So Fluxus does appear to work and it can actually execute scripts that the current PC web executors Solara, Celery, and Incognito cannot execute. So yeah, this works. You can farm, do whatever you want to do. I mean, let me just try to use this just to prove to you guys that it does indeed work. Let's turn on the FPS booster real quick. So yeah, there we go guys. This is just one of many ways to execute scripts on Roblox right now. As always, use alt accounts and the only time you should ever be using an Android emulator to execute scripts is for auto farming only. If you're trying to use this on Phantom Forces or Frontlines or any other game like that, you're going to have a bad time. So until we have a decent PC executor again, this will probably do for most people that need to auto farm. So I hope this video helps some of you guys. I will have more guides coming out soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, bookmark robloxscripts.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Stay black. Guys, I also want to mention that this does have a 92% success rate for UNC. So it supports 92% of UNC functions. Just want to put that out there. For those of you that might care about this, this means that it, it can execute a good amount of scripts compared to whatever else is on the market right now. So enjoy this guys, and I'll see you in the next one.